adding motion templates to Adobe Rush. Stick around. What's going on everybody, Claudio here and welcome to my new and returning visitors. I've got an exciting video for you. How to add MOGRT files to Adobe Rush. If you're not familiar with those, it's how to add motion templates in Adobe Rush. I've had a lot of individuals reach out to me and say, hey Claudio, can we add motion graphics to Rush? Well, you can. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I've opened up a project here in Adobe Rush. I've added two clips. I have a video clip here as well as a static image. I wanted to compare both and show you how you can use the motion graphics over both of these. So now what I'm going to do is add a motion graphic. So let's come up here to the graphics button and then choose install. Now I'll tell you a little bit later where I got these motion graphics. So let's go ahead and go to install template. And I think I have it in my downloads folder right now. So let's go date added. We have clean quote titles, Instagram story version three. So you see right there, there are nine templates here. So I'm going to go ahead and use number one. Now, the thing about this, I have to do these one at a time. I'm just gonna start with this one right here, Instagram version three dash one, Mogurt. Now you're gonna say, Claudio, where did the template go? It's not there. Well, you still have to add it. So we're going to go up here to add graphic and you have the options here, titles, transition graphics and overlays. Well, you won't find it in any of those sections. What you'll need to do is go to browse all and then choose save because you saved it to your account or to your profile. Now what I'll do here is type in Instagram to make my search a lot easier. And you can see all the ones that I've added so far. And there's the one Instagram V3-1. And all I need to do is drag it out here. Now I have that greenish overlay there so i need to remove that and this is where you come down here and edit that template you see shape number one it's got that so i'll uncheck that and now you can see me there and let me shorten this out and let's say i was going to use this for an intro for my instagram story well i'll click play and it comes in or fades in and then it kind of just cuts out now what i need to do is go ahead and edit there. So let's go and find that text. Let's see where it says minimal. Just click there and I can type in, let's just put Claudio and then let's go where it says brush Instagram story. Just click there and I can start editing here. Let's see how to add motion templates. I may actually use this as like my promo. And then right here it says lorem ipsum the lore, that's just standard filler text. You can add your own text or just delete it all together. There it's gone. And again, you got the shape one, which is one of those rectangles, those long lines. So you can go through here and customize that template further to make it your own. I'll just leave it the way it is and just hit play and zoom, there it is. And then it comes out. And just like that, I was able to add a template over this clip. Now I'm gonna show you another template that I added earlier just to show you how it looks like. Here I have my image right here, it's static, and I have this one here. I'm gonna add it over that. And just like the other one, it fades in here. And let's cut this a little shorter. Let's see what it looks like, and it cuts out. So what you would probably do is something like this. I'll shorten that down, and boom, there it goes. And then again, click on there, and you have all the options to edit everything in this template make it your own again if you want to change the text just click on the first option there which says check out now you can edit it and then go through here and select all the different shapes if you want to change the colors again just go here and adjust that and that's it you pretty much are able to edit the template that you downloaded and add it to adobe rush and then what i'll need to do is trim these clips or remove the pieces that i don't want and then go to share and then export this project so that I can post it on social media, Instagram, or wherever I want to. The next question I'll probably get is, hey Claudio, what about a mobile device, iPad, Android? You did it on the computer, will it work on the phone? Well, check this out. I'm gonna show you, I've got my phone opened up here. I've got a project already opened up. I'm going to add a graphic here. Do the same thing, browse all, go to saved, 
And let's go ahead and type in Instagram here to see if we can find that template, Instagram, and boom, there they are. All the different ones that I've added. Let's go ahead and try, let's do this one here. Tap on add, and there it is. And all I have to do is tap here and go through the same process. You can edit the text. You can change the text, change the color, click right here where it says layer, go through and change all the different options to whatever color you want. You can brand it with your colors, do whatever you want here, edit the text and whatnot, and you are ready to go. As far as the templates that I use for this video and added to Rush, I went to a website called motionarray.com. There are various plans you can choose from, from free, monthly to annual, and you're able to download all these templates for Premiere Pro, Rush, Resolve, all different other ones. And for full transparency, I'm not being paid to promote this. I went ahead and subscribed myself. I wanted to test out the different templates that were available, and I would say that it is worth the money. Go check it out. Definitely worth it. Well, I hope this video was helpful if you were looking to add motion templates that you found on the web. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please do add it in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified for future videos, and please do share this video with others. Thank you again for stopping by, and as always, be good to one another. Peace.